Hello everyone and welcome back to Sonic Talks World, I'm Sheep Sheep and Dana. Today we're going to be continuing onwards in the newer zone, Desert Ruins, which is probably the only desert zone in a game I have ever liked. And I'll get into why as we begin, because in this zone we actually gain a new wisp and it's, a, it's, a, it's actually surprisingly speedy for a desert level. You guys will see, this begin Desert Ruins, second world, let's go. These animals are quite underwhelming. I'm disappointed in you, incompetent fools. Violently disappointed. We don't care about your disappointment, master. Do you care now? <gasps> Oh, no wonder they betray him. He's, uh, well, obvious. Spoilers, they betray him. If you know the trailers, it's pretty obvious. Anyway, welcome to Desert Ruins, the obligatory desert level of the game. Now, this is no Sandopolis zone. As you can tell, it's very fast paced and it's very amazing stage to run through. And it's so much fun. It's really. This might be one of my favorite stages in the entire game, actually, now that I think about it. It's got, like, the perfect mix of platforming and, well, running, so it's quite interesting. Anyway, there's, there's a lot of um, trees and stuff you can climb up to, well, get a lot of red coins, a lot of hidden goodies around, and as you can probably look on the floor, there's a lot of Triforces as well. Eh. Didn't know Sonic Team was uh, a big fan of the Zelda games. Oh, well. These snails, oh, I don't know if I mentioned yet, but those snails, basically you're going to want to use the kick attack on them, because otherwise, good luck, because those snails are not fun. But, but there, you're going to want to try and use your spin dash as well, because one thing that uh, you'll find is the spin dash has a lot of momentum. The problem is, sometimes you overcharge it, like, but on a segment but there, before I got into this little platforming sequence, I was moving way too fast. You know, I was moving so fast, my momentum was just going off the wall. But anyway, this is a little, this is a major, what well, the major platforming section of this world is gonna look like. And um, I failed horribly. Great, but basically, it's got a lot of uh, wall jumping, a lot of ninja move sets that um, the Prince of Persia would be quite jealous of. Oh, a mission. By the way, I figured out why I couldn't find Omen Chow in the last part. I just flat out didn't have it. I didn't have any room for new missions, so here's my fault, fault, folks. Now you might remember these guys from those grabbers from Chemical Plant Zone in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Now in this game, you can't home and attack those things, unlike in oh god, unlike you can in Sonic Generations. So if you see those things, try just do your best to really avoid them. You really have nothing. No, you know, there's nothing really you can do against those things. But anyway, got a couple of these guys around here. Boom, boom, boom. But the music in this level, I really... This is this stage is just phenomenal. I really do love this level. And as you can tell up there is the Crimson Eagle, which I am yet to actually find on the ground. When I actually get access to the Crimson Eagle, which will be in a few seconds, because it's right... No, no, I don't want to take the slant slide. Oh, at least I've got a capsule over there. Here it is, this is the Crimson Eagle, folks. Now this basically is a fly-in form. This should, well, to some, this is what the hover form from uh, Colors should have been. As you can tell, you're using the gyroscope on the gamepad to actually move and fly about, which is all well and good. Now it's not, this is probably one of the few, oh god, no, 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 ah, damn it, I wanna get that one. But it's one of the few wisps that really work with the gyro controls. Now, what one of my things I'm gonna have to explain later on is I do love the wisps and I do love how the controls and stuff are done in this game, even though they take a little bit of getting used to. But um, some of the wisp controls could, probably could have been improved. Like there's one wisp in particular I'm gonna show off later on that will probably kill me from using. I'm not even joking. Anyway, as you can tell, there's a lot of sandworms popping in and out from the sides and the tops and bottoms of this world. Well, of these inside and whatnot. But these sandworms are pretty much taken directly out of Beetlejuice, which is a fantastic movie if you haven't seen that. But um, basically, if they bite, if they eat you, you're dead. One hit. 
you can touch them and lose rings, but if they if they go to eat you, that's it. Goodbye. Now, um, basically, just be careful. I mean, oh god, no, 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 what are you doing? Why are you doing that? <laughs> yes, I know. I'm gonna grab onto the wall, Spider-Man style, and that will save me. But those things are really easy to really dodge because they're extremely telegraphed. But the only major issue is. Despite them being extremely telegraphed, they can catch you off guard, especially if you're getting the red rings. In fact, they're pretty much a non-issue unless you're after the red rings. If you're after the red rings, good luck with these guys, because they will... They will hurt you a lot. Anyways, let's take the slow path. Why not? Why not? And... Uh, this is an example of what I mean by they're extremely telegraphed. They're basically, they'll pop up on the floor for a split second. To give you a little warning and say, Ah, oh, I'm here I come, I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> Time to get some dessert, because you know, desert, desert, ha, huh? I'm genius. Oh, and that is, so, that is in no way to segue into the next part. Anyway, I think we're getting pretty close to the end of the stage here, so let's just wing it for you. Be careful, these cactuses, they go around in a very sad pattern, but uh, so you shouldn't worry too much. But Desert Ruins is really. Like, as I mentioned earlier, it's probably the best desert level in any game I've ever played. And the reason for that is, desert levels are usually pretty boring. I mean, Mari in Mario, for example. I probably shouldn't bring up a Mario example in this. This game has got a lot of controversy surrounding the whole area. It's like a Mario game, but... No, 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 no. Uh, fine, I'll take out the old and not. But basically, in Mario, the desert level is always boring. That's what I, I find anyway. I don't know if anyone else seems to agree with me on that, but, you know. But one thing, one little thing I want to, one thing I want to tell you, don't jump into spikes. But another thing is basically, there's got a lot, all the bandits in this game have really been souped up from their old classic counterparts. And the fact that they actually do stuff. I mean, even the mortar bugs clip me at times. I'm, it, that's really how... Useful, how good the bannocks have become. Somehow they just. It's like. I'm trying to think of a good example. Ah! Good example. Here's one. Back in Sonic Generations. Every enemy existed purely to be there. That's the only reason. In this game, they exist to be obstacles, and they work very well as obstacles. Now, those fire orbanauts, as you probably can tell, they will spin fire around you and actually shoot it out off and surround you very slowly. Now, there's two ways you can handle that, basically. There's the normal way, which is the way most people probably would, which will be simply jump over the fire. And the other way to take care of it is to kill kill the Orbanaut before the fire surrounds you completely. If you fail to do so, bye bye health. But anyway, it shouldn't be too god. We're at the very end of the level here, folks, and yeah, this be that was Desert Ruins Act One. So yeah, like I said, very good desert level. Better than the usual devils the levels, for example, to say the least. But, um, yeah. Things are gonna get a bit trippy from here on out, that's all I'm saying. Why? You'll see. You'll all see. But with that, I'm gonna call it a part here, so... Thank you guys for watching. I got items, which I'm yet to show off the items. I haven't actually tried it on my main profile, you know, I beat the game up on my main profile. Hmm. Anyway, whoa, 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 no, I don't want to select that. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, appreciate a like or comment to the video. And when we return next time, we will take care of Desert Ruins Act 2, which doesn't look anything like a desert level. You'll, you, you'll see. You'll all see. So thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Bye!